Well, we got a sunrise, just had a cup of coffee, about to get a Rudy's Taco down here, Lake Travis. Few fishermen on the lake today, a few fishermen I'm seeing in the mornings, maybe this is a good sign. If you guys watched the last video, I came out here, struggle. I think I caught like four fish, very little bites, trying to catch the state fish, the Guadalupe bass, which isn't very large, but it's fun and it's cool. It's our state fish, man, come on. Today I'm fishing with someone I never even met before and she should be here any minute. And this Guggen, she spent $10,000 on a mystery like package that we had of just full of stuff. I'm sure she's going to bring some of that stuff with her. Just uh, uh, unbelievable. So anyway, she used my promo code to save um, save on buying that. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to take her fishing because that's just kind of cool. She happened to be from Austin, and that's why we're fishing this lake that is so difficult. And very, very clear right now because of zebra mussels. Uh, we're going to have a little competition, though, with these quads. I have in preparation for this kind of made up a quad rod as i've called it got braid 10 pound uh, fluoro on there with a ned head probably going to be experimenting with some jigs uh, gonna throw a little top water if she defeats me if she catches more guadalupe bass than me i am willing to part with my jig box which goes with me everywhere i'm always throwing jigs there she is right there i just i just saw her she's pulling in so my very special jig box, she will be uh, she will be departing with if she catches more quads than me. We'll see. Oh, that's my fish. That's my fish. Come here. I caught one like that yesterday. I saw one bust and threw to it. Oh, it's just random, just out there in the middle of nowhere. A fox. It was a fox? Yeah, and the baby fox, right there, behind the rocks. Oh, a baby fox. And oh, my fox. goodness. And baby and mama, like, right behind the rocks. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Nature, good yeah. eye. That's supposed to be good luck, though, when we were thinking. Oh, wow. You <laughs> see a fox, it's good luck. Look at this. They should be right behind that big old bull. Oh, I'm on. She's on. Yes. Oh no, she's ahead. <laughs> it's little, but we'll see what it is. It's a, it's a guad, I'm, I'm certain. <laughs> Guadalupe. Up there shallow. As the airplane fan thing's flying over. Perfect for audio. How's it going? <laughs> Okay. Yara is on the board. Oh, you have chickens? Oh, yeah, I do. <laughs> How many chickens you got? I got like um, 20. Yeah, about 20 eggs. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I, I like the country. You're getting a lot of eggs then. Yeah, there's lots of bluegill up here. <clears throat> Shallow. Come on, guadtastic. They're in the brush. Ah, the, score, the score is tied. Yep. The score is tied. If you if you defeat my number today, you get to go home with my jig box, which is my sacred my sacred box. You got it on the walkie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was, I mean, it was up there, like, right on the bank. Oh, there's a bite. Come on. Oh, this is a bigger fish. This is a bigger fish, for sure. It was a good bite. Yeah. This is big. Watch it be a drum. Oh no, no, no. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm telling you. This is different. I saw a little bit of silverish. We'll see. Coming out. Oh, let's go back here. 
Oh my gosh, what is this? It's coming up. I see a big one. I'm confused. What do you think it is? It must, I don't know. Think it's catfish? No, I don't think it's a cat. Well, I mean, you can feel the fight, though. So. You see? It's, it's a bass. It's a bass. It's a sizable bass. Nah. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Oh, that's pretty. It's a largemouth. Yeah, that is pretty. Look at that. <laughs> that is a good picture. That's a pretty good one. Heck yeah. Oh, that is so pretty. That is so worthy. They, oh my god. <laughs> they do exist. Dude. On the wacky. On the wacky. Look at that I'm barely. Gonna have to put a on. Barely. That's, your, that's what your second one, no, third one on the wacky. That is skinny, skinny summer fish. Oh yeah, but it's still long though. Oof. Okay, there it is. You let, let it go so I can shoot the shoot the big camera here. I was not expecting that. I was expecting a little guad bass. Yep, I'm good. That's cool. Beautiful clear water. Okay. Hey, that's two two yep. one now. Yep. Two one. I need a walking. I'm using this little baby bass. That one right there. Uh -huh. Well, normally you get like some sort of jump. And I'm telling you yesterday, that drum was just like that. Oh, really? It hit it and then zzz, And I was like, oh, I got a big bass. And then it was a drum on a net. You know, normally I catch drums on like crankbaits and things like that. That fish was a summer... Look like a summer starving fish. Was that last fish close to the bank? Yeah, close to the bank. Got her on the wall. Gotcha. There we go. Oh, on. I'm on. Guad on. I think it's Guad. Could be a largey. Not sure. Well, that one might be a large mouth. I think it is, yeah. Large mouth. Captured. Should have got one more time. <laughs> You know, the game the game was tied just <laughs> two minutes ago. The wacky. The wacky attacky. Okay, I think I filmed I think I filmed half of this video so far in slow motion with no audio. So this is Yara by the way, everybody. <laughs> we are in a fishing competition right now, mostly for Guadalupe bass, the state fish of Texas. I'm currently up three two, but you uh, you got one of these bundles. I, did. I didn't even know if it was real or not. Right, right. And tell me the story of how this happened. Okay, so I was looking into the cell because you know I wanted to get some of the performance clothing and stuff. And one of the guys was like, "Hey, did you see that they put a bundle?" I'm like, "Shut up!" He was like, "Yeah, they put a bundle." And it's a ten thousand dollar bundle. I'm like, what does it have? And so they sent me a screenshot. I was like, I I'm going in. So I went into the website. I was like, holy crap, they put it right. Like, I, I need this in my life. <laughs> I call my friend and I'm like, dude, because it says, you know, eventually you can uh -huh. bring a friend, whatever. Yeah. Will you go on something like this with me? And she goes like, hell yeah, we we'll go. I'm like, it's on. I just threw ten thousand dollars. Wow. <laughs> I was just surprised and use my promo code <laughs> yes, lfg yeah. and i was like oh my gosh like this is crazy so anyway found out where she's from awesome that's why we're here on lake travis uh it's like we got to go fishing and there was one other person uh that used flair's promo code i think y'all are the only two people that got it correct anyway i don't know if we'll ever do one of those again because it was it was so nuts but you know yara just said I, I'm, I'm going in i'm going all in so <laughs> Now she's probably have enough baits and tackle for oh, years. Yeah. I, I, years I split of it with my friend. Yeah, uh, we, she yeah. came home and I'm like, let's take half because this is crazy. I mean, we film a little bit, we put it on Instagram. Yeah, I saw it on Instagram. It was yes. nuts. 
and, and I mean, I I was like, this is insane. She was like, it is, but you know, this you people take vacations go to Europe and stuff like that because some people reach out and we're like why you did it oh you must have to have money laying down no I work hard you know I think I deserve it and I'm doing it it's for me <laughs> well that I mean that I think people get passionate about fishing hunting they do they do spend you, you a know, lot of money on things you're passionate about yes I mean, look at the, look at bass boats. Oh my exactly. goodness! Exactly. Yeah. Or what? my kayak. Or right. Any... Right. Right. Oh yeah. Even kayaks now. Yeah. Which basically are boats. Yeah, I'm not, so. I'm not regretting it. I love it. I'm I'm about it. Look where I'm at today. Who would right. have thought? Supposed it... to buy a house. I'm supposed to be buying a house. <laughs> oh wait, wait, no. Does this get crazier? <laughs> oh, yeah. Does it get crazier? Uh, yes, because um, uh, I wanted to buy a house and settle. You know, plan for retirement. So did you hold off on a mortgage for the? Yeah. Sure did. <laughs> Let's go. He's, he's on. I don't care. Oh. If I die tomorrow, I'm going to be happy. Wow. You know, you, you're a diehard Gugan. We appreciate you. We love you. Thank For you. Sure. Oh, no. This is, a, this is a tie ball game now. <laughs> guad? Watch this monster. Look at this monster. It is a guad. Another guad in the boat. I guess I need to uh, step it up a little bit. We're actually, we're actually going to give it guad on the loose. We're going to give it like 20 more minutes and do an audible call to another lake. I've been hearing a lot about some, some other lakes around here. One that I fished before and I'm really interested because Yara has fished it recently. Said it was it's pretty decent. And you know, there's mostly like little guads here, which is fun. We're catching the state fish and all that, but um, it'd be nice to get like, you know, five pound largemouth. The, the opportunity would increase. So anyway, I got a good largemouth. Not to say there's not good ones in here, but... I don't know, switch it up a little bit. Grass fishing from super clear 15 foot visibility to fishing thick grass stuff. Showcase the skills. It's a tie ball game. My jig box is at Jeopardy. We're half timing it right now. So now we were going to head to a grass lake. So we're gonna have to completely switch tactics from finesse fishing to going, you know, maybe like frog, braid, uh, you know, fishing some other things. She fishes there a lot, so she may have some tricks up her sleeve. So I'm hoping I can find a few healthy largemouth and stay in this game, retain my jig box. Okay, round two. Yara, we we've traveled about, I don't know, 30 minutes? 30 minutes. It wasn't crazy. Minutes. This water's 86 degrees right now, it's pretty yeah. hot. Uh, just talked to a uh, fishing freak that just completed his first guided trip. Congratulations. Um, and they had about a six pounder on a drop shot. Drop shot. So maybe more finesse fishing. We shall see. But uh, you got a spot in mind? Like yeah. a honey hole? Yeah, we're going to go that way. Have okay. To turn that code back there. Like... Here we go. Let's go to the juice. Oh, <laughs> Look at this. Look at this school of fish. I don't know if they're largemouth. Like, are there carp and drum in here? Well, there's carp, but... That's a, that would be a weird school of carp. Right. Oh, this is like mondo worm. Big mondo worm. They're acting like largemouth, the way they're moving like that. Oh, God, just got hit on the way up. There it goes. Okay. All right, we got a huge giant fish here. Let me get our lure back. Uh oh. Steer him this way. Oh shit! Oh no! Here we go! Here we go! Here we go! Here we go! Is it coming? Okay. This is like, this is like the biggest one I've ever caught. For real? Wow. Uh oh, 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 I have never had to fight one of these things. They're surprisingly strong. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh my God. I mean, just, oh just try to pick that up. Just try to pick that net up. It's holy smoke! No, like this 20 is huge. Pounds. Oh my god, dude! Look at that. that oh, is... Okay, we got the lure. Hang on. Oh yeah, we got the lure. Oh, dude, this is All more right. than 20 pounds. Easy does it, bud. 
Biggest fish I've caught all year. Or we caught co-catch. Let's go. That was crazy. <laughs> this is insane. That was nuts. <laughs> when you said you got it, I was expecting a white bass. Not even. Yeah. <laughs> but we're seeing some uh, what looks like largies just kind of cruising right here. And we need to get one. Yeah, I can see their shadows on the electronics. And they just, you know, if we were on Lake Fork, I would say. Got one of those large mouth. There we go. All right. Maybe they are large now. They were doing way better then. It's a large mouth? Yep. Oh, nice. Sure is. Got them on the blazing. I thought, what did I tell you? Steady blazing on the shaky. Okay. Another skinny boy. They like the plastic in these lakes. Sure do. The grass looks great. I mean, it's not too choked out. It's nice and tapered. Ooh, got him. Look at that. Nice. Swim bait. Swim bait in the grass. He just spit up a little shad. Oh yeah, he hammered it. There we go, a shallow, shallow fish. About five foot. Got a little wind on the bank. It's looking pretty prime. Gosh! Oh no, I had him on for like, Oh, it felt good too. Oh. Well, I really did been nice. It's like he had he had it good. I don't know what happened there. I tucked I tucked my hook really far in so I wouldn't get caught in the grass. That might have boo booed me up. But I was just swimming it and it just started taking off. Okay, Chobi. Yeah. Got him. Oh Came on. off. Freak Frank. He hit me once, right? Yeah. I was like patient, and then he went for it again, and I set the hook. Oh no, he hit it once, and I, I stopped it, and he went boom. Did you take your claws? No. No. Oh, no, I got them. I got them. Oh man. That was a good fish, though. You know what I mean? That was a good fish. It's so good. Yeah, that's that's two good bites that we have not capitalized on. Okay. Going with the confidence bait. Bandito Bug Jr. I just got all up in the reef. <laughs> you went fishing in the in the jungle up there? I promise she's only done that once once today. You wouldn't be a Guggen unless you cast it into some um, some crazy cover like that. Look at how beautiful You know, middle of the day, fishing sucks right now, but these fish are just kind of buried in this grass. And it's reaction bite. You get, you know, get your lure by them. They'll come out and they'll grab it. But they are they are not willing to come from very far. You basically got to slap them on the head. So you're going with Junior Bandito. It's a confidence bait for yep. you. I I am I've been fishing the blazing worm. I had a good one on. She did too. That you know they, the rods loaded up, and uh, we did not capitalize. So. It's our fault. It's our fault. But in the in this competition right now, I am I am two fish ahead. So that means I right, as of right now I'm gonna keep my jig box, which is very near and dear to my heart. I think we'll probably just finish this stretch and this will be it, because we're like late in the day and you know it, there's not gonna be a better bite till like this evening. Oh. Uh, yeah, something tapped it like for what right as it was. I got it. Oh, nice. think... oh gosh. Oh, it's a big one. You need an or no? no, I got it. Okay. Oh, oh it, it double tapped it. Came back again for it. It got caught in the grass a little bit. Oh. Ah, oh, come on. Yeah. There we go. I thought it was a lot bigger, but 
fishing bracket right there. Ah. That's a pretty fish. Not bad. I felt a little tap tap and then yeah. it went away and then it came back. Blazing worm. Beautiful fish, yeah. A lot healthier than the other ones we've had. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> Come on, Yara. <laughs> Come on, Yara. We got probably two or three hundred more yards. Oh, I had a bass chase it right there. You see that? Holy cow. He, he saw, as on the swim, as a swim. I think they're liking that. All right, we've we've come to the end of our stretch on this bank, Yara. <laughs> I let hey. you win, you know. I'm yeah, I know, I know, I know. You didn't want to beat me up, and you know. I appreciate that. There are some nice fish in here, and I'm glad uh, you mentioned this lake because yeah, we, made the move. we made the move. There's some bigger fish in here. It, I mean, it's the middle of the day. It's 100 degrees in July. Like anywhere you go in Texas, is gonna be tough. Middle of the day, but. We still got some bites and I've won my three fish, so I get to I get to keep my jig box. But I know you had a bite over there that looked like a pretty good fish. Oh yeah. And and this was like a confident stretch for you. We caught some fish off of it. I noticed that the fish came off and I was I was asking you that hey, was it coming at you and you were saying, Oh, you know, my, my gear ratio on my reel isn't that high. So I do want to give you a parting gift. Oh of a higher gear ratio reel plus you said you had what 14 rods I know. <laughs> and not enough reels so i've got one of one of my favorites that i've been using this past year this nice. is the corrado dc hg i think it's a eight to one gear ratio uh, eight to five eight to five that's a oh, burner yeah, yeah that's that a burner. Is, yeah so you're not gonna Thank lose them so on much. that you bet stick it on <laughs> one of your new guggen guggen rods we are out of literally out of battery we fished <laughs> Like we didn't run the motor that much. We fished like just looking at the grass for, for so long that the battery ran down with my three graphs and you know, it's just one of them bass boat things. It doesn't matter if it's new or old, stuff happens. So hopefully I have some jumper cables in here. Uh, but if not, we're only about a mile from the boat ramp. So let's hope she starts. Yara, thank you for fishing with me today. Thank you for being a super fan and allowing the Gugans to do what we do. Hell yeah, it's thank you for really the invite awesome. and the time. I mean, it was pretty awesome. And you know, next time I won't let you win, you know? <laughs> be aware of that. I like it, I like the attitude. <laughs> no, but it was fun, it was fun. Uh, such a great experience. Uh, uh, it was worth, worth it, all about every penny. Um, I'm not have any regrets and looking forward, you know, for this adventure, it was pretty well, awesome. Cool, thank you. Will do. So Yara has sort of inspired me to do like, she has fished a lot of the lakes that I used to fish when I was a little bit younger. And I think I want to do a little tour, like take the kayak out, do a little camping tour with some of, some of the lakes that she was just talking about today. Got me, got me inspired. So see you Yara. Bye. I got a lot of insight from today. Ask Yara a lot of questions. It, it, it was inspiring. It was inspiring to um, fish with one of our true hardcore fans and it just makes me not want to let her down. And I know the rest of the guys are the, like, the same way. Like when you meet someone like that, that has literally watched us since we were just, you know, a few dudes. I mean, our individual channel starting out and then just a few dudes like, you know, selling our first t-shirt to try to make something of it and then getting into the actual tackle, it makes, me and the rest of the guys just want to make stuff that's awesome that we know when it gets into your hands um, you're gonna love it and you're not gonna be disappointed so it's it's given me an extra bit of in inspiration uh, to when you know we're doing all this field testing and coming up with stuff that hey there's people like Yara that are gonna be fishing this uh, they deserve they deserve the best they deserve really good stuff I'm inspired I'm going to leave the city of Austin and get back to the family. So leaving the T-sips, holler at my axe, and my jig box is safe for the fall fishing season. So thank you guys for tuning in to this, uh, this unique episode, getting to fish with one of the fishing freaks out there. And thank you for tuning in to all the outdoor adventures here on the channel. May God bless you and Godspeed in the great outdoors. We'll see you soon.